No, I said do not bring him in here. I just want you to say hello. Oh, he does not like this. What's up, cat? Is it recording? Kitty ASMR. That's the sound of a cat being squeezed to death. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everyone? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got a detailed look and breakdown on the Nike Air Flight 89, originally known as the Nike Air Flight Low. And this is back in 89, so not currently. And it's in this really clean, super simple, white-black colorway. However, real quick, I did want to thank everybody that's been fighting the algorithm for us. So thank you guys so much for leaving comments and hitting the like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, we would greatly appreciate it. We're trying to reach that one mil. And um, every time I mention, like, can you subscribe if you haven't already, guess what? People subscribe. So it's working. Also, shout out to everybody that supported Sense Apparel's latest drop, which is this guy right here, our Since the 90s Amalgam MBA hoodie and everything like that. The product is currently in production, so we will get those out to everybody that pre-ordered them super fast, like way faster than we have before. We are actually working with a factory directly now. So instead of sourcing materials, bringing it to the people that put it all together and then doing it that way and then sending them out, we're going straight from one thing to fulfillment to you guys. So it's going to be a lot quicker than it has been in the past. This store is currently just always open. If you wanted any of our past drops, they're currently on sale because we were just making room for the new inventory here so if you wanted to support anything that sense apparel and wear testers does that's the best way to do it besides like joining the discord and you know liking commenting all that kind of good stuff so with all that out of the way hot damn these are awesome man are they perfect no are they better than anything that i've bought since like what 2004 yes so that's the thing that like really got me excited was i pulled these out not only was the shape right the coloring was right i'm talking about the coloring of the rubber so i was just super excited and stuff like that i really love this shoe uh, i know that a lot of people see this as as a Air Jordan 4 takedown, which I wouldn't argue with that or anything like that. But if we bring things over to issue one of Kicks Magazine by Slam, uh, we go over here to what was at least back then uh, in 1998, the official timeline of Nike basketball. And then we go all the way up here. Or actually, should we start? Where the hell are we? Oh yeah, we do start up here. So 1989, right there. That's the shoe, believe it or not. That's the high top. So that's the Nike Air Flight. And then if you move over a few models and all this stuff and all of a sudden, boom, there's the Air Jordan 4. And then right next to it is the Air Flight Low, which is the low top of those. So some people consider this the takedown of the Air Jordan 4. Other people consider the Air Jordan 4 the takedown of this. Whatever it is that you want to consider it, go for it. I don't care. This to me is just part of the lineage of Nike basketball and I just love the model. Now, as far as the shoe is concerned, when you look at the bottom of the shoe, they obviously share the same exact tooling as the Air Jordan 4. So when you look at these, you do see herringbone on there. You also see Nike branding. I think that this is awesome. This particular model right here, or this particular colorway, does look a little bland with the Nike just being there you know what I mean like I think that this is kind of weird that was the one thing when I flipped them over I was like why isn't it a color it could have been gray black red could have been anything i don't know if this is original colorway i would assume yes just because it's so simple so back then this was kind of a thing but uh for all i know the one with the red lettering was the original and not these so i really don't know but either way that's the outsole right there i think that it looks good and uh yeah i like it dude like these are clean moving on up we do have the same exact cushioning as the air jordan 4 so again i don't really consider this quite a takedown it's literally the same product it's just a different package but we have a polyurethane midsole and then in the forefoot there's an encapsulated air sole unit in the heel there's obviously the visible air sole unit and my god it's sexy like it just looks so good to me like i don't know what to tell you like this for whatever reason i just love it like I, I look at this and i'm just like yeah that's it now the upper is where things get different especially when we talk about the air jordan 4 the air jordan 4 originally featured durabuck which was a synthetic material this guy right here does feature leather i assume the originals did as well but i don't know for a fact for all i know those could have been durabuck too if you happen to know feel free to let me know down below in the comment section i would actually really appreciate that because yeah I, I wasn't i mean i was alive but i didn't have nikes <laughs> that's for sure i was wearing payless shoes however the leather on here is a lot nicer than the last time that I bought the shoe. Uh, the last time that I bought them, I bought them like three times over once because they were completely f***ed up. The second time was because I wanted a specific colorway and they came like, I can't even remember. I think that they were shown on the site to look like this, like a smooth leather. And then when I got them in, it was a pebbled leather. And I was like, dude, what the hell is going on? You know what I mean? Like the whole thing was just a messed up everything. This leather right here, while it's not premium or anything like that, it's definitely like the garbage version of leather when we're considering all types of leather, but it's at least nicer than all of that 
So I really appreciate that. On top of that, this midsole right here, this rubber portion of it, technically it's part of the outsole, but either way, the last time that I bought these, it was like this weird, I don't even know what to call it. It was just this weird color. Like it wasn't white. It was supposed to be, but it wasn't. It looked like recycled rubber or dirty rubber or something. I can't even properly describe it. This right here is actually white. They look so nice. Like this is such a pretty shoe the only thing that i can really like harp on them with is just the coating of the polyurethane for one it looks great so i really do like that it doesn't have some weird fake pebble finish to it it's nice and smooth the way that i remember it like it even has all the perforations on the toe box area just like my pair did way back in high school so i really love that but you know i will say it's not the best it's a little bit stiff it feels kind of like vinyl like you you know what I mean? Leather doesn't normally sound like that. So that's my only like gripe, but outside of that, like the nostalgia is very strong with these and the way that they did them up for me at least just really sets them off. Like I, I just can't help but just kind of like float over to these as if they're a warm apple pie. You float through the air when you smell a delicious pie. On top of all of that, the toe shape right here has been refined. So this looks a lot closer to what I used to have back in the day. It's not exactly the same though. There, there is still some weird structure in these things. I don't know when exactly in the history of basketball shoes that they started putting things in the toe cap right here to make them sturdy and like not move, but that was a bad move. Whoever decided to do that, shame on you. Cause they just don't move the way that they should. Like I remember mine just getting creased all to hell, like right up here, like they would like cave in and stuff like that because it was nice, soft, supple leather. It was a basketball shoe. Now they make them like they're like Timberlands or some steel toes. Why? They're still basketball shoes. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what year they were originally released. Basketball shoes are basketball shoes. So yeah, that's the only thing that I don't like love is just that there's some kind of reinforcement in there. But other than that, the shape. I will say that not all of these current versions of the Airfly 89s are treated equal. I went to a place, I don't know if everybody has one, but I went to a place that we have here locally called WSS. It's kind of like a big box store. They had the reverse colorway of this where it's the all black with the white accents and things like that. And that pair was just God awful. So if you don't want to like get I guess surprised, uh, don't order the shoe online. Like if you can possibly see them, find them, feel them in store, that's what I would recommend. One of the things that they also switched back that a lot of people didn't catch on some of the previous retros, but I did and then I just didn't like it, but they switched it back is actually these little sections right here around the collar, both around the ankle and the heel. It's this pleated looking material. It's back and it's awesome. I absolutely love the flight logo on the tongue. I know that some people prefer the Air Jordan 4 and things like that and it looks great, but I just love that flight script. The insole is this piece of shit. So if you wanted to pull this out and put in anything else, well, do it. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, go true to size. Everybody should be good to go with that. Uh, surprisingly enough, this never bothers my pinky area. Not that the Jordan 4s typically do, but because it is the same exact thing as the Air Jordan 4, or at least the overall like tooling and look and stuff like that. Some people might be curious. So no, they haven't bothered me or anything like that. I go true to size every time with 89s and I'm always good to go with that. However, if you have a different experience, feel free to let everybody know down in the comment section because I'm sure that'll help somebody out, which is the whole point of this whole channel is to help out people just in case they needed it. What? Are you ready for the question of the day? I suppose. I oh. mean, your face shows me otherwise. <laughs> Only because we have to put up the screenshot of the question. Okay. And I was just thinking of how, if you haven't been watching each video, how out of context this is going to come across. That's there not our fault. <laughs> That's not our fault. We treat each video like a sequential, a sequential timeline. Yes. It's all continuous. They wrote, they look pretty, but not for me. To answer the question, only toilet paper. My question is, would you rather be lost at sea on a small boat or lost in the woods with a tent? I would take the tent for sure. Oh, me too. The sea is no joke. I know. You'll yeah. most likely You'll die of dehydrate star yeah, starvation and, and dehydration before And be so else. sunburnt and go crazy, yep. hallucinate. And if you even think about drinking salt water, yeah, you're, you're going to be instantly sick. Yeah, you have way better chance living out in the woods somewhere than anything else. So yeah, that's a, that is a no brainer of a question. And on top of all of that, you're floating on predators, man. You're in their dinner bowl. There's people that have survived. Oh, I know. And you've seen them. Oh, I have. Like on the news. They're sketchy looking after that. Like um, the people who get lost in the woods, like that toddler who was missing for like quite a while I before think their that parents. Right, right then and there is proof. <laughs> Take a hike, bro. You'll make it most likely. You know 
what I mean? Like there's something out there. The toddler can do it, so can you. But in the ocean? That toddler, the specific one that I'm thinking of, and I don't even know, I could probably Google and find him an image, but he looks like he had seen some things. Oh, he probably did. But yeah, the toddler made it. Your chances are so low out there in the ocean. And plus, like, what kind of boat is it? Is it like a floating boat? Like a raft? You know, like an air-based one? The ones that are only made to like, like last, only last for a so few long. hours. Yeah, like I didn't, that's a big no. No, that you, scares you me have an official boat. Okay, so you're in But a, no oars. Well, I mean, what kind of official boat we talk? What, does it have a motor? Does it no, have a lid? No. You're just open. The ones that like a little tin boat <laughs> or a wooden one. Like a canoe or something. And say like your oars got lost. Yeah, no, that's a big no. Okay. Mm -mm. But anyways, with all that being said, sound off below and let us know, are you going to be lost at sea or would you rather be lost in the woods and why? Also, sound off below and let us know what you think about the Nike Air Flight 89, aka the Nike Air Flight Low from 1989. If you own a pair and you owned a pair of the originals or previous retros, how do they stack up in comparison to those? I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for everything. We will catch y'all on the next one. So until then, have a good one.